Yuki, Yuki, I'm dead! Around. Yuki, I'm dead! Where are you they at? Run us. I was to go Yo, Ice Fisher. Yo. What's cooking? It's Sheffy, and I wanted to talk about or shine light on this one mechanic in the game. You saw the clip, and obviously, it's going to be assassination builds. In my opinion, these builds are incredibly unhealthy for the game, as you don't need a lot of skill to pull off an assassination. And there's a lot of talents that can support you, even if you don't have a lot of game knowledge or awareness. Talents like Dust Lunge and Shared Demise are talents that assassination builds thrive off of, which also brings up the next point, how they can be a track star and escape any situation. So, these guys already have high agility stats, but they're gonna need a little bit more to make themselves lethal. Getting Tacit Memory is extremely helpful for, to assassin builds, as you won't get spotted easily by players. But you can also go Jet Striker or Star Kindred for crazy mobility and just running around. But, let's talk about the damage. So, some assassination builds can deal a shit ton of damage by themselves, shown in this clip. But even if your build doesn't do a lot of damage, you can have two of your guildmates target an assassinated player, basically destroying their health bar. An example was shown in the first 5 seconds of this video, I'll play it again for you guys. Yeah, there's just people like sitting around him, and I don't know, it's just extremely unbalanced. I know they've made small changes towards assassinations, but something major needs to be done. As long as you have a competent assassin, you can rival majority of the guilds in Deep Oaken. So let me know what you guys think of assassination and subscribe.